Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show, your Wednesday edition where we're talking woman empowerment. On the heels of International Women's Day comes a comprehensive initiative focused on raising awareness of the experiences of women in data science. To have that conversation this morning, a project officer and a lecturer at the University of St. Uh, the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Leticia Addison, Dr. Leticia Addison, she joins us this morning as we explore exactly that. Good morning and welcome, Doctor. Good morning and thank you for having me. An absolute pleasure because girl to girl, <laughs> this is definitely something we should be talking about more. But before we go into defining what is data science, yeah. give us an idea as to why this endeavor was necessary because I understand it's a, a collaborative effort of course. between the University of the West Indies and PAHO. Yes. So why the need to explore this? Yeah, so in terms of uh, the current digital age, um, we see it necessary to educate everyone and in particular women in the field. Um, at the university, um, one of the mission, well part of the vision is actually um, accelerating knowledge and of course learning and fostering positive change and innovation to transform the Caribbean and the region. Mm. And in that space, we found it necessary to expand the horizons and create synergies to be able to have the resources to empower women. And PAHO has been really um, in in sync with all of these um, various initiatives, not only with public health, also, mm -hmm. also with big data. Mm -hmm. And um, we thought that it was necessary to include them in this conversation to be able to expand the horizons and provide more resources for persons in, in the field. Makes yeah. sense. I think coming off the heels also of the pandemic itself, of where course. we saw a lot of information and data being shared yeah. and stored, I think it underscore the need for more presence in this field. So it, it actually makes sense now. Yes. So properly define though what data science is, can you give us an idea of what exactly that of means? Of course, of course. And I mean, I would say that we have been using data science for so many years. And this term is it's, it's really a buzzword to really tell you about the interdisciplinary aspect of the fusion of statistics, mathematics, computer science, and also domain expertise for the particular field. So when you really want to have insights about you know, data collection, analysis, interpretation, and then of course the use of the data for decision making, that is where the data science itself comes around, where you would want to use that to actually give some perspectives on what's happening in a particular field. Okay, yeah. so that sounds like a lot of behind the scenes, of a lot of almost administrative in the sense of uh, the way that it might be uh, accumulated. Yeah. And so what challenges do we women face in that field? Yeah, I mean, from a personal perspective, I feel like it, there is a little bit of intimidation um, because there are so many, there are a large number of resources out there. There are a lot of men already currently in the field. And I think women sometimes wonder if they measure up, if they know enough, there's a bit of imposter syndrome. I mm. could speak to myself when it comes to that as well. And I think sometimes women aren't sure where to start. Where do I start? What do I need to know? How do I break into the field? How I sustain myself in the field? So there are a number of, of um, perspectives that arise out of that. And women feel like, you know, we, we wonder how do we um, advance ourselves consistently. Gotcha. Now, the forum also aims to promote gender diversity yes. and empowerment within the data field. It features presentations and discussions with women in data science related fields yes. to provide the female perspective forums and the networking part of things. Yes. It's happening on Friday the 15th of March and it's a pretty short time, 9.30 to 11.30. 9 a.m. to 12. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> right, so get there with you guys. Yeah. So, but describe to me what exactly the shape of the conference or the forum will see. Yeah, so the forum itself, it's, it's a, a fusion of, of perspectives. Um, so we have some keynote or we call technical talks from women in different fields, mathematics, sociology, biotechnology, engineering. And then we also have a short panel discussion about a 40 minute panel discussion with about six women 
in those fields, the keynote speakers, as well as um, uh, lecturer in computer science and persons in the business domain, who are going to give us some of their, share some of their perspectives and their experiences, and also some of the applications mm. of data science in those, because it's a multidisciplinary effort. Mm. So we really want to highlight the women and what they have been doing, and of course, provide support and motivation for those who, who uh, already uh, there. Yeah, <laughs> already there. And also, I just want to mention as well, you know, even though we say we are empowering women, we do invite men to attend because we need to have men as part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And it's open to all, the cost is free. Um, and it's really, it's really a, re a nice open space, a safe space to build that community aspect. I love the fact that you underscore the inclusion of men yes. because we can't have these conversations in isolation if of we really course. want to be empowered. Yes. We need their perspectives and we need them to hear the progress that we are making as well. Of course. So I truly appreciate that uh, additional <laughs> bit of information. Now, uh, as you were saying earlier, the partnership between PAHO and UE is necessary because we see the need for information, we see the need for the spaces, if you will, to be filled. Yeah. What role do you see the collaboration playing in encouraging young women to now pursue these sorts of jobs, to look at a career in data science and facilitating their growth and inspiration, as you see. How yeah. exactly does that happen? Yeah, so I mean, consistently continuing these types of partnerships really builds a space for us to have knowledge sharing, resources, building capacity. And I think what women usually need, and especially in terms of what we hear from our end, um, not only from the student perspective when I lecture, but also from the woman in data science perspective when I'm in the part of that community, is how do we build on this? You know, who do we go to? Where do I get research? Where do I get resources? Um, if persons want to go into more of the research aspect, what is out there for me to research? And I think having those partnerships expands the horizons, not only into the region, but also internationally as well. Of course, of course. Yeah. You, you definitely underscore the interdisciplinary particular parts of it uh, because we're looking beyond the realm of health, beyond the mathematics yeah. or anything like that. And I'm not going to lie, it's a little intimidating of course, of as course. a language girl. <laughs> of course. Um, but that's why WIDS exists, right? Yes. So tell us a little bit as to what or who is WIDS. Yeah, so WIDS, WIDS short for the Women in Data Science Organization, it's a global chapter that was started by Stanford University in 2015. It started as a one-day conference and it has built into a, a really large community of of ambassadors across the globe and um, WIDS really helps inspire, motivate, elevate and support women around the globe with resources, conferences, podcasts, um, next generation for secondary school students and um, we do workshops so in all our different communities we host workshops, we host events that really help to um, spread the message, create awareness and encourage women to support each other and of course men as well because right. you also have male mentors and there's a data challenge attached to it, a global data challenge that happens every year. So this year was an equity in healthcare data challenge and we had persons who were able to actually come into the data challenge space take the data set, analyze it, breast cancer data, and then build a predictive model to be able to get some insights there. So it's really like every year it keeps rolling into a different social challenge and in that way you connect with people across the globe. Yeah, Brilliant stuff. <laughs> and of course, we want you to be part of that brilliant stuff. So remember, you can head on down to the LRC Auditorium in New East St. Augustine's campus. From 9 a.m. till 12 noon, you're going to have the opportunity to become if you're a woman, a woman in data science, <laughs> or if you're a man to support those endeavors as we get ready for empowering women to harness the power of data, inspiring inclusion. I wouldn't even bother to ask you how you are inspiring inclusion because the community that exists, the support, the plans, and the exposure that you're going to give these young women to something that is absolutely necessary is certainly paving the way towards inclusion. So good of job, course. doctor. Thank you very much. <laughs> any other details or any other platforms you want to share with us so that we can be on this conference, connect with WIDS and beyond? Of course. Um, I'd just like to also share there's a registration link that's circulating on the UE St. Augustine's website. Mm -hmm. So for persons who are interested in coming down on Friday, feel free to register. The cost is it's free. There's no cost. Um, and in terms of the Women in Data Science organization, you can visit us on LinkedIn at WIDS, well, Women in Data Science Trinidad and Tobago. And we also have a YouTube channel with all of our workshops and free materials there for you to jump into. 
Great. Well, you heard it here first. We are heading to UE and we are all going to become women in data. Well, data. But for now, Dr. Addison, we thank you very much for joining us this morning, thank giving the information me. and doing the good work. Thank you so Continue much. to do exactly that and you guys continue to watch us here on the Now Morning Show as we'll be back with more after these messages. <laughs> I come for this one. Sign me up. I come for this one.